Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to encapsulate database operations. Now, what if you want to insert some records into your database? Now, in that case, what you would do is you are going to come up with a way to provide those, to write those records here so they are committed to your database. But um, what I'm actually going to do in this lecture is show you how you can encapsulate database operations. Encapsulation basically means in this context that we want to sep separate the database logic or the database operations from the application logic. All of them are inserted within this application, but we, are, we just want to come up with a way to clean up our code a little bit better. That's why we have our code from our previous lecture. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function, a reusable function that is going to be called every time that uh, we want to insert a new record into our database. So I'm going to say add, oops, so I'm going to say def add underscore new underscore topic. We're going to pass in the cursor object and uh, the topic title. So we know that we need that title. Uh, we are going to pass in topic category as well. So topic category, category. Uh, let's pass in the task description as well. Task description as well. Perfect. Now in here, what we are going to do is we need to create the data for our topic. What is the data for the topic is consisting of? What is it consisting of? It is consisting of the title and the category. What about the ID? The ID is auto increment. So that is what the database is going to handle for us. So I'm going to say topic underscore data. And I'm going to, within a tuple, I'm going to say topic uh, title as well as topic category. Perfect. Then I'm going to execute a statement, a general statement, a general SQL statement. Don't worry, we are going to abstract these uh, statements as well using SQL Alchemy in our upcoming lectures. So we are going to say insert into, what is the table name? It is topics. We, we are very familiar with this syntax. And we are going to pass in title and category. Perfect. And then within there, what do we want to insert? I'm just going to come down here. And I'm going to say values. Oops, it has to be uppercase. It could be. And I'm going to pass in um, placeholders. So percentage sign S, percentage sign S. These are basically placeholders, so you don't really need to worry about them. And then what is the tuple? Because we are thinking of security as well, we are just going to pass in our tuple. So let's pass in topic data. So, so far, everything is making sense, right? Then we are going to grab the topic ID because we need to we need that as well. So I'm going to say topic ID is going to be the cursor dot last row ID. So the last row ID is going to be the topic ID for the next item that we are trying to add there. Now I'm going to create the tasks as well. So I'm going to say tasks data. It is going to be equal to an empty list because we are going to insert all of them into this list. Now, let's iterate over our description. So I'm going to say um, description, descrip, description, for description in task description. Remember, we passed in task description there. Perfect. What do we want to do? We want to grab the task data and we want to update it. Now, what, what, does it, what is it that we want to update it with? Now, let's think about our table. Let's actually not think about it. We do have it here. So within the tasks table, this is auto increment. Perfect. This is what we add, topic ID. But this description is what is really important, right? So we need to pass in two things for the tasks table as well. The first thing is going to be topic ID, then description. The task ID is auto increment. It is created automatically. So let's pass in for each description within the task descriptions, we are going to pass in uh, a topic ID. Let me pass in another S there and an S there. So we have topic ID and 
as well as a description. Perfect. And then we are going to say tasks, tasks uh, underscore data. Keep this in mind. This is tasks data. This is task data, individual. And we are going to append it to the, ta we are going to append to it the task data. Perfect. After that, we are going to execute this because there are going to be more than one. So I'm going to say execute, execute many. Perfect. Is that correct? Execute many. It should have provided me with some highlight. Execute many anyway. So we are going to say insert into there is an R missing. The reason that I'm not explaining these a lot is because I've already explained them a lot. So what do we want to insert into this tasks table? Again, just the topic ID as well as the description. Just the description. I'm just going to select it just to make sure it is spelled correctly. And what are going to be the values? Let me just provide some space. The values, what are they? They are going to be placeholders. So I'm going to say S and S. Where are they coming from? They're coming from the tasks um, uh, data. So tasks data, not task data, tasks data. That's it. Basically, we have what we have done is we have created a tuple just for the cursor.execute for the topics table. And then we have also iterated over all of the descriptions just to add the topic data. And then we have inserted those into our database as well. Now, how can we insert actually records? This is the logic. This is the function that is going to handle our records. So how can we insert them? Let's say uh, I'm going to come beneath here. I'm going to say adding new records. How can you add them? So I'm going to say tasks. Let's say we are trying to add another task as well. So I'm going to say clear uh, the browser cache and as well as let's say uh, use a different browser. These are two tasks and then I'm going to call the add new topic what is the cursor? The cursor is going to be the cursor object that we have here. What is uh, the next thing that we need to provide for this function? That is the topic title. What is the topic title? Let's say it is Gmail not opening. Opening. Perfect. What, uh, what is next? Uh, next stop, we need to pass in topic category. So I'm just going to, let's say, I'm just going to provide it social. And eventually, what is the task description? The task description is going to come from this list. I'm going to run this. I'm going to save them, of course, first. Let's uh, grab the name of this file, which is a little bit long. So I'm going to pass it here. Let me just copy it again. Copy that. Let me just click here. There we go dot pi hopefully there are no errors perfect so make sure when you run them once just go ahead and comment them out to just prevent creating duplicates so we have task one topic id one topic id two and topic id three so it has successfully been added to our database from our python application this is really cool so we have one one topic task id one topic id one two one both of them refer to one topic ID. Then we have this one, which is a another individual topic ID. Then we have 4.3 and 5.3. Use a different browser. We can sh take a look at them as well in here. Oops. Show tables. These are our tables. We can say select this from uh, topics. This is our topics. Um, we need to refresh this. So I'm just going to close it and I'm going to open it up again. Uh, let's just start command line. Perfect. Let's just say use blocks. And then what do we have here? So we are going to say select all the columns 
from the topics table it is still not being updated in here it says link one is not working and then it has let's take a look at the other as well so we have select this from tasks and reconfigure so we were able to insert them correctly into our database that's how we will we were able to extract them let's take a look at the the database in here so within the tables we have let's take a look at that so reconfigure and let's take a look at this I'm not really sure why it is not showing there so we were able to hmm, grab the uh, values from there I'm just gonna run the script one more time just to wrap my head around it so we have link is not working oh let me comment these ones out hmm, let's save that let's run this again hmm. there seems to be something we are missing so we are somehow when I when I comment them out and run this code again I'm not going to pause the video let's just work our way through this so you can see that we are not actually adding these to database we are fetching them but we are not actually adding them the way that you know that you're not adding the uh, adding values to or records to database let's say we we run them once right if you run them again you're gonna get end up with duplicates but if I run them again there are no duplicates because they're not being added to the database or to be accurate there we have not committed them to the database so commit oops there this is co double m i t just make sure you commit them to the database as well now if i run this perfect and now we should comment these ones out let's just save that so if i run it again voila there we go so if i come in here and if i say let's just bring me the topics there we go gmail not working it is number eight for some reason because we have run we have run it uh, multiple times it's one two three and so many times 15 doesn't really matter if we come here however let's close these two tables let's refresh this let's grab the tasks there we go so we have task id 14 and 15 uh, which are these two it doesn't really matter what the task ID or topic ID is what matters is we have we have been able to commit them successfully to our database so this is how you connect a Python application to a MySQL database it is a little bit of work but you need to be very careful that even if you do not commit them even if everything is working correctly you're not going to end up with that record so make sure everything is correct and in place that's it for this lecture see you in the next one